Hi, today I'm going to make a creamy chicken and rice in the Ninja on the crock pot setting, or slow cooker setting. Um, for this recipe, you're going to need one and a half cups of water, two cans of cream of chicken, one box of the long grain and wild rice, um, the slow cook version, and you're going to need eight chicken breast halves, boneless and skinless. One more ingredient I forgot to mention is carrots. Um, you can use full-size carrots and cut them up into thick chunks yourself, or you can use baby carrots. Either way, I'm going with baby carrots because of time and convenience. Okay, first you're going to add your water, your soup, your rice, and your carrots, and stir that stuff together. Um, it's likely that your rice will have a separate seasoning packet, so add that in there. And then you're just going to blend all this together. Um, carrots, it's as many or as few as you like. If you don't like carrots, you don't even have to use them. Um, I may add some more before it's over with. Then you're going to add your eight chicken breasts. Okay, my bag of chicken only had seven in it, and that's okay. Um, I tend to notice that the ones that are flash frozen are typically bigger than the ready-to-cook chicken in your grocery. Um, it doesn't have to be eight. It doesn't have to. You could have nine. You could have seven. It's okay. Um, then you're just going to stir it around. Try to coat your chicken with the mixture. Okay, my chicken is covered, and I have added a few extra carrots. Put your lid on. You're going to turn it to crock low, slow cooker low, for, I'm going to go with eight hours. Um, seven to eight, you should be good on low, or high, you would do it for about four to five hours. All right, time's up. Looks really good. We'll serve it up, give it a test, and let you know what it tastes like. So the chicken and rice turned out great. Uh, chicken was super tender. You could just, you know, peel it apart with a fork. I did add a little bit of salt and pepper to mine. Um, just to add a little bit more uh, flavoring, but not everybody likes salt and pepper. So we usually don't add it during um, when we're cooking it. But uh, yeah, I thought it turned out good. Give it a try. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. More videos coming soon. Thanks. See ya.